Hey. Hey. Wake up. You're opening your eyes. Good. How many fingers am I holding up? Correct. You're fine, but wounded. Come on, I'll help you get up. You recognize me? <laughs> That's a good sign, at least. Yes, I'm Sister Rosaria. Hmm? Yes, they're gone. I took care of the rest. <laughs> what were you thinking? Going up against an abyss mage and four miniaturals all alone like that? Without a vision? You're either very brave or very stupid. But, I must say, you fought pretty well against formidable odds. I guess you really do deserve your nickname. Huh? You don't know? Everyone in Mondstadt knows you as the ghost of Springvale. A lonely wanderer with fluffy ears and glowing eyes that protects innocent people in the woods with a bow. At least, that's what the merchants call you. I actually came to the wilderness to see you in action. You know, check to see if the tales are real. I guess I know it's true now. Being from the cat's line bloodline has its perks, I guess. Some say your skills with a bow are more precise than Outrider Amber. I think we should put that to the test, though. That's quite the boast. And I know Amber would never run away from a challenge. Come on now. Lean on me. I'm gonna get you to the cathedral and call for Barbara to take care of your wounds there. Oh. I'd better set you here. You're about to collapse. Bringing you to Mondstadt is pretty risky for you now. You might not make it. I'm gonna have to take care of you for now. At least until you're in stable condition. Yes. I've been raised an assassin, but that calls for more than one would expect. I had to take care of myself if I ever had close calls with my targets. Hey, where did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, I learned some tricks that'll keep you alive. What else do you know? People talk, and you hear a lot of people passing through. I'm sure you've heard stories. So you do know. Know that I'm... <sighs> Never mind. Forget it. What's most important is that we clean up your wounds. The one right here in your neck is pretty deep. Fortunately, it didn't hit your vital artery. You're very lucky. Here. Put this on your neck and keep pressure on it. I'm going to take care of your arm. <sighs> Listen. You better brace yourself. I'll have to use my kunai in your wound and freeze it from the inside. It's not the best solution, of course, but it'll stop the bleeding. It's going to hurt quite a bit, though. Are you ready? Hey, stay with me. There. You're strong. You've got this. And done. It's cold. And it hurts. I know, but bear with it for me, okay? <laughs> What's a vision's worth if I can't help people to survive, right? <laughs> About the one on your neck. Freezing it won't be enough. I need to do something else. What? My mouth? What of it? My things. I'm salivating? I didn't realize. Change of plans. I'm going to fully heal you, but on one condition. You will never tell this to anyone. Up until now, it's only been town talk and speculation. So promise me. Give me the word of the ghost of Springvale. Good. Now, don't be afraid. Take that fabric off your neck and get ready. In order to fully heal you, I have to do something drastic. I'm going to bite you. Shh. Don't worry. It won't hurt you. As long as I'm gentle. 
You shouldn't feel a thing. I just need you to breathe. Gently. Gently. Oh. Lord Barcebedo. No. Bartobas? Whatever. You tasted divine. There must be something in the cat's line blood that tastes better than others. I'll have to keep that in mind next time I have to feed. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. You know I won't do it. <laughs> oh, did I give you a fright? No? Tell that to your downed ears and your open claws. They say otherwise, my dear. Look at those cute little murder weapons. Hmm? You feel dizzy? It's normal to feel that way. Let's lay you down. Here. Put your head on my lap. Yes, I bit you, but not the way that you think. I've injected my blood into you while I was drinking a little bit of yours. No, this won't turn you into what I am. That's nothing but a myth. The reason I did what I did is because vampire blood is high regenerative properties, so you'll be fine in no time. But remember our deal. You won't tell this to anyone else, or the ghost of Springvale will turn into best food of Springvale. Got it? Good. You should still take it easy. So I don't want you getting up for now. The healing can take some time, depending on the severity of the wounds. I... Hey, what's going on? There's something shining under your cloak. What the hell is going on? A vision. Incredible. I hardly remember what it looked like to receive one. I suppose I should give you congratulations. You've got one of your own now. But do you know what this means? The Archons have noticed you. They only give visions to those who they think truly deserve it. Let me see. An electrovision. Legends say that an electrovision hasn't appeared in a long time. Consider yourself lucky. You're the first to receive one in ages. Let's just attach it to your belt for now. I must say, it looks cute on you. It's very fitting. No, no, absolutely not. You can't try your vision out right now. Every time you use your vision, it drains your energy. And considering what you've been through, you're in no condition to. You've mostly recovered, yes, but you still need some proper attention. The trauma of the wound still resonates within your body. Though my blood take care of your injuries, you really need to see Barbara. We can start heading to the cathedral if you're feeling well enough to walk. You sure? <sighs> All right. Let's start by getting up. Your bow? Uh. Ah, look. It's over there. Unfortunately, it's in pieces. Don't be too sad, though. We'll be able to get a much stronger bow from the Knights of Avonius tomorrow. I'm sure Amber has many bows. She won't mind giving one of them to you. A sharpshooter's Oath would be perfect choice for you. If she has one to spare, of course. In my opinion, she has an excess anyway. Never mind that. Let's head out. Huh? When did I become a vampire? That's hardly regular small talk. But truthfully, I didn't. I was born this way. I've just been like this forever. Origins of my kind? <laughs> that I don't know much of. I was orphaned and raised by thieves since I was a baby. But hey, you mentioned that you knew about my past. Before I became a sister in the church. So don't ask me about that.
Are you tired? You must be. You can see Barbara after you get some rest. Like I mentioned, your body will still hold the trauma of the injuries you sustained. For now, our new destination is my place. Did you really think I would leave you alone overnight? <laughs> you, my little ghost, are under my care for tonight. This is where I call home. Settle down. You can use this bed. I'll keep you company until you fall asleep. Do you need anything? A fish? Headpaths? Does your kind even like headpaths? The only person I know from your kind is Diona, a local bartender. The last person that patted her on the head? Well, she kicked them out of the tavern, covered in scratches, head to toe. <laughs> I know her well. I frequent the tavern. She really hates it, but hasn't kicked me out yet. I spend enough there, I suppose. <laughs> Deep down, she likes it? <laughs> Maybe, but she's a hard one to read. Why would she be acting like that if that's true? That a Kathleen thing? Oh, you guys only allow headpaths from the people you trust? Not a bad rule. Though, that means you must trust me. I've been patting your head this whole time, and you haven't said a word. <laughs> Even though you know what I am, you trust me. That's almost flattering. I've never exactly head patted someone before. I hope I'm doing a good job. Pet your ears? <sighs> I guess. Oh. Your ears are so soft. It feels a bit relaxing almost. <laughs> I can't imagine what it feels like to you. You're supposed to be relaxing, too. You... Did you just purr? <laughs> that was pretty adorable. What? Does that feel really good or something? <laughs> I guess that means I'm doing pretty well. Why be embarrassed? No one here but you and me, little ghost. Ah, you made my night much more exciting than I anticipated. That's just nice to relax. Actually, one more thing. This vision, always keep it on you, no matter what. Always keep it by your side. I can only imagine what would happen if you were to fall in the wrong hands, especially since it's an electrovision. They're hot commodities, and I'm sure someone would be willing to steal it. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. It's just something you have to keep in the back of your mind. Always protect yourself. <sighs> now sleep. And get some rest. Tomorrow will be a long day for you. Because first thing in the morning, we're heading to see Barbara. After she checks your condition and approves, you'll head to see Lisa and potentially start training tomorrow. She'll teach you how to adapt and use your vision. It'll be more of a process, but you'll get the hang of it. And hey, one more thing. Just let me know if you're going up against strong opponents again. I'll do the dirty work. You owe me a drink? <laughs> I won't say no to a drink. If you have time. Maybe you can meet me tomorrow night at the Cat's Tail. You'll be my drinking buddy. I'm sure Kaya won't mind. Good, good. Now get some rest. I'm not leaving your side until you fall asleep. Cuddle? You are such a handful. Fine. But keep the purring to a minimum. 
Got it. All right, little ghost. You're cuddled and head padded. <laughs> Who would have imagined the ghost of Springvale is such a needy little kitten? Almost too adorable to be scared of now. All right, all right. I know. You're a brave warrior. But no more words from you for now. All you have to do now is fall asleep under my care. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> Sleep well. Hey guys, this is Gentle GF. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a long time since we saw Vasaria, and I had a wonderful opportunity to use a fan-written script this week. It's a super cool AU script, so I hope you enjoyed the mysterious and wholesome vibes. If you did like this one, go ahead and give this video a like and hit subscribe. If you're looking to support me on other platforms, you can follow me on Twitter, Ko-fi, or TikTok. And again, I have to give a big thank you to xrochiX on Reddit for making this wonderful script. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening.